Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here, joined by Josh Rand of Stone Sour. Thank you so much, man. Oh, I appreciate your time. Oh, of course, anytime. First of all, welcome back. Welcome back to the road. We're, we're very glad to have you back. How does it feel to, to be back and playing live? Oh, it's, it's amazing. Um, to come back, you know, obviously I took the, the hiatus to work on some addiction problems. And, uh, you know, to come back, I've been telling everybody, it's like, it almost feels like I'm, like I'm starting all over again. Like, I, I have like this newfound appreciation for it, yeah. and I, my head's clear, and it's just like I'm just taking it all in, and it's been an amazing three weeks for me, and I'm, it's awesome. Okay, so you've got that like old excitement about get about to getting on stage, and like that nervousness, that good nervousness. Yeah, it's yeah. it's crazy that you mentioned that because it's been a long time since I've honestly had that, but right. um, you know, absolutely. Like I said, it's like coming back to it. Um, it's just been amazing and you know I, I just had, you know in January I just hit a wall with things and uh, just felt terrible and decided yeah. that it was in my best interest and the band's best interest to step aside and, right. and get stuff sorted so I'm glad you came back so quick though because I mean you know a lot of guys right when they you know get out of a, a rehab or a treatment center or whatever it, it may be you know they normally the advice is like don't jump back into your your regular life because that's where some dangers can happen uh, has that been difficult at all or do you feel solid I feel solid awesome. I, I think I think the big thing and I mean every everybody's situations different obviously yeah I think but um, for myself was the commitment you know I'm the one that made that decision of I'm not gonna I'm gonna step aside there was actually we were in a connection at an airport on our way to Canada, and I just, I just realized I was just like, I just can't go do this, and um, you know, I think that that's a big factor of why I was able to come back maybe faster than anybody else. Is I was 100% committed uh, into feeling better for myself and doing whatever that needed to be to, you know, to get there. Yeah. Well, that yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you know. I, having it be your decision rather than other people's decision for it well, yeah. you can actually really commit because you wanted to yeah i mean there was like no intervention or anything no. like actually to be quite honest everybody had went through uh check-in at the airport yeah. and they were already through when i made the decision that i wasn't going to fly to canada and i was flying back to des moines so wow. yeah our security staff actually informed them that i would not be joining them and uh Everybody backed the decision because they knew in, in this, you know, with all of the addictions to everything that I just spun in like a funk depression thing. And um, and I just wasn't happy and everything. And so that's why I just made the decision. I was just like, there's more to it than I just felt like every day was just a burden. I was just yeah. like, this is crazy. I, don't, I know that I don't have to feel like this. So and I needed I needed to go home and have help to figure it out. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you made the decision also because, you know, Stone Sour, you know, this leg of Stone Sour's career, the Hydrograd leg, uh, is probably coming to a close uh, this year, I, w I would assume, right? So uh, I'm glad that you're able to have this time to enjoy the remaining months of it. I, I think that's awesome because Hydrograd, one of the high points of Stone Sour's career, right? To be quite honest, I think for me, enjoying it has been starting three weeks ago and coming yeah. back you know even making the record was really difficult for me there's many a times where I couldn't even get out of bed there's several times that I didn't come into the studio because I was just yeah. that down yeah. and um, so for me it's like this is like the beginning even though it's the, we're wrapping up the cycle um, it's like I'm reaping the rewards from it now yeah. and as I said the cool thing is is as I said I have a, this new appreciation just for everything to sit back and take it all in and, and not to take any of it for granted when it comes to coping with anxiety on the road um, have you because you know when, when someone has anxiety you, you kind of have to develop your little toolkit of like okay different things to cope with different situations so now uh, being sober have you been building up that toolkit so to speak 
Um, yes. The main thing for me right now is honestly working out. Like, that's, I, that's yeah. a great one. And, yeah. and I spend hours doing it now. Yeah. I, and sometimes I'll go to the gym twice. I'll go in the middle of the day and then after we're done playing. Um, you know, and the other thing that I learned is I used to, well, I'm still working on I'll probably always be working on is I was a person that would really never speak their mind and just bottle okay. everything up. Um, that didn't help me in many ways over the years, I'm sure. And uh, so that's the other thing is just us and the band, we have a very uh, open communication with the five of us and, and, and truly a brotherhood. Yeah. You know, I know everybody says that, but you know, we hang out with one another on days off and all that stuff. And that, I mean, and check in on one another. And I think that also helps too, is that we just have this you know, open communication to really see where everybody is. It's not just, hey, we're gonna play this song tonight. It's like, well, how are you really doing? I mean, yeah. and, and stuff like that and checking in on one another That's beyond just the band. So with Stone Sour, uh, this, this little piece of the Stone Sour book uh, coming to an end, uh, you know, they say that, you know, uh, idle hands are the devil's playthings. I mean, uh, how are you going to, you know, keep this positivity moving uh, post Stone Sour and, uh, you know, with the free time that you will have? You know, one of the things that obviously you're taught is to go day by day. Okay. And that was one of my problems before is I'd look so far in the future instead of being in the present. It seems so, way too big to Yeah. To so, you know, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of our cycle. And... Uh, you know, we'll, I don't have a crystal ball, and you know, and we know that Corey will go back to Slipknot, so it'll be a couple years before there's another Stone Sour record. And like I tell everybody, it's it's so hard to sit here now and say what that'll be and everything, because we kind of just always write in at that time where what we're yeah. feeling and everything. So, you know, I don't I don't know what it'll be, but that's kind of the cool thing. I mean, we've always thrown everybody. I feel a curveball here and there on every album throughout our career you know whether on this record it's saint marie and when the fever broke where it's like nobody would have ever thought so um we'll just have to wait and see well man continued hell thank you so much for giving me your time we all are wishing all the best for you